One agency in our area is celebrating a major milestone. Pathway to Recovery Counseling and Education Services is celebrating its 40th anniversary. You may know it as it being the former Sorrento Gardens here in Hazleton. Eileen Panzarella is the Prevention Director at Pathway to Recovery. I guess congratulations on serving the community for so many years. Well, thanks. You know, we are proud that we've had this longevity of our agency and the work that we're doing. Now, this started back in 1977, and you were telling me, I guess it was a merger of two other efforts that then began and became Sorrento Gardens. Yes, um, even starting from the 1960s, there was a halfway house, and there was also an alcoholism council that was run out of the old St. Joe's Hospital. And in 1977, they merged together uh, and formed uh, Alcoholism and Drug Services of Lower Luzerne County. And they were uh, housed uh, behind the old Ernie Steakhouse. It was a Mediterranean kind of building with gardens, and that's how the name Serrano Gardens then became uh, popular with it, and we became known as that uh, because of that location. So now the name is Pathway to Recovery. Um, and you're in another location. Correct. So uh, four years ago, September will be four years, we moved to uh, what's called the Wave Center here on Broad Street, 223 West Broad. It's the uh, former M&T Bank building. So we were able to purchase our own building for the first time. Uh, we moved in there, and there was a lot of changes. We in, uh, increased programs, so we thought a name change was also appropriate then, and we became Pathway to Recovery. How have the services changed over the 40 years? I'm sure they've changed a lot, but you've really grown and you're offering a lot of services that maybe some people aren't aware of. Yeah, uh, we, um, well, the halfway house is no longer uh, a part of it because of uh, funding that was ended a long time ago. But now we still have our uh, drug and alcohol uh, counseling, so we offer individual counseling, group counseling. We have a partial hospitalization program, which is more intensive. It is three days a week, uh, where they come for uh, three hours at a time, so intensive counseling there. Uh, we've also added, which we're uh, very proud of too, is a mental health department. So two years ago in 2015, we got our mental health license. So we're a licensed facility. We have a psychiatrist on staff. So we also uh, do the mental health counseling because we found out that a lot of drug use and mental health issues go hand in hand. So now it's a one-stop shop where someone could come and help, get help with both issues, their mental health issue and their drug issue under the same roof. Do you, file, do you find that people are hesitant to come forward to say they have a mental health issue? I know it was always taboo in the past to talk about it, but that's not the case. And people can get help and they can live a normal life, correct? Definitely, and I think that's what the uh, focus is on, is that these are diseases just like any other disease, and you could get treatment for it. Uh, some of the mental health, there's medication use, and uh, people can lead normal lives. So we have to remove that stigma. And that, and even with the addiction, we're finding out it's a disease of the brain. Well, you're dealing with helping people who already have problems, but you're also trying to prevent future problems. You're taking education services into the schools and trying to educate our youngsters so that they know to stay away from drugs and alcohol. Yes, in uh, 1979, uh, the pre our prevention department was actually the first in Luzerne, Wyoming County on that. So uh, we've continued those. Uh, services to today. Well, congratulations, 40 years in the community and going strong, and we thank you for the good work that you do for so many people. Oh, thanks a lot. Eileen Panzarella from Pathway to Recovery.